Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode of our 1.16.5 Mod of Minecraft Let's Play series. Oh man, we're killing it in the Brass Mod Pack and having such a good time. Today is a big day, that is for sure and for certain. We are going to start immersive engineering like for real. For real, for real. Now, we already have a water mill out here taking care of business, giving us the power that we need to be able to run our bee, <laughs> our bee operation in here. By the way, I've got some brand new bees right here. They are, uh, what are they? Um, nickel. Nickel bees. And they're giving me some nickel combs. I figure I'm going to need those here in a little bit. Let's put that right there. Yes. We also have, uh, these are iron I've got going in here. Yeah. Everybody's happy. They're just level one. I don't mind coming rolling around here. My copper bees are out of control. We're raking in tons of combs from them. <laughs> They're always buzzing around. Oh, everything's awesome. Now, I've stopped harvesting my diamond and my coal because, you know, it's kind of a ripoff. Because I can't use them for anything at the moment uh, until I get into mechanism which is a little ways down the road but we'll get there so if we take a look here uh, when we grind up our coal uh, honeycomb in the centrifuge we get some coal dust and the only use of that coal dust is mechanism machines like we can't do stuff with it I don't think it doesn't say that we can so eight coal dust will give us a block of coal ore which then we can turn into coal so not ideal and the diamonds are the same way diamonds give us diamond uh, diamond stuff in the centrifuge diamond dust which again we need to have mechanism pieces parts to be able to do stuff I and mean, we can make an anchor upgrade using a little bit of that stuff we can make a jetpack yeah we actually not too far oh we're not there yet yeah that's a little ways down the road but anyway so i'm i'm just not harvesting them anymore i am harvesting these guys i mean maybe i should probably go in here and, and keep harvesting them and i need to update the 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 thing <laughs> the what's it called the beehive versions to be able to hold more bees and even get more combs we'll do that i'm not too worried about it we'll just do it as we get to it everything seems to be going fine everything's good over here yeah we're close we should we could probably update at least um, some of these hives but that's not what we're going to work on today let's stop talking about bees we're going to be working in immersive engineering and to that I guess, to that effect, we have built ourselves a new house. This was where our old bee uh, organization stuff was going to be. Um, and I used a little bit of this netherrack slabs, nether brick slabs, just to make sure nothing can spawn in here. I know that that means we're going to have to like add some more slabs on top of these and set our... Um, immersive engineering machines up off the ground a little bit but what that'll also mean is nothing can spawn in here which makes me really happy so we've got we've got some things we have to deal with i want to really the reason that i'm really driving towards doing some immersive engineering stuff is one we have to get we have to build an arc furnace at some point to be able to get out of the immersive engineering age uh, or the steel age and we're not there yet we have a long way to go i'm still working on getting more steel made. I think we've got some cooking up in there. Yeah, that's probably going to be enough for what we need to today. I'm trying to get more coal coke made. I was out of... Uh, it's like a vicious cycle. <laughs> I was out of... Uh, I'm going to grab this. I was out of coal. Didn't have any coal. I had to go mine coal. It's just like around and around we go with some of this stuff. This is kind of the way it works. In any case, today though, I want to do some better immersive engineering power, powder, or power, sorry. We have our water wheel. It's working like a dream and it's given us plenty of power to handle our bee stuff, but I think we're going to do some thermoelectric generators today. Thermoelectrics like these. So we need some constant plates. We need a copper coil block and a little bit of steel can give us one of those. Let's see if we take a look here at our our deal thermoelectrics now if we use packed ice yeah so I don't know if we can even get these pieces parts how hot and cold uh, so there's two different sides the list blows the list below contains other non fluid blocks which could be used as source of temperature so uranium block I think we can make for sure I just don't know if we could get ice anyway I don't really understand. I don't think we can get ice. I'd really love to be able to make some ice. It says we can do... Like, I don't understand what this is telling me. Like, if we put... Okay. 
I don't, I don't understand what it's actually telling me though there. Maybe one of you guys do. I don't know if I can make ice that way. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm not sure of a way. I don't know of a way that we could get ice at least yet. We could do a chemical combiner uh needs 1024 uh ener flux energy per tick and then we could put use chem this in there to do the thing. I don't know. So I think we're going to be a little bit trouble. I think we're going to have to use water for now until we can find a way. I don't have silk touch. I don't know how to get silk touch. Wow, there's one of those guys over there. Let's not run over there just so we don't have to deal with them. I don't know how to get silk touch as of yet. Uh, there's really not a good... I guess I could try to enchant a pick. Like It doesn't even let me click on that. And that's a whole different thing. We have ice around here. And we might be high enough that it might freeze. And that's what I'm actually kind of hoping for. Wouldn't that be kind of sweet? So we would start with water and it will freeze. <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so let's go in here first of all. So thermoelectrics is what we're going to make. Constantin, by the way, is super easy to make. And part of the reason that I got some of those. Uh, not iron... Uh, I grind them up? These nickel guys, right? So nickel, nickel uh, gives me nickel grit, and we take that with some copper grit, and we get two constantins. So we don't even use the, have to use the arc furnace. We could if we wanted to, but we have some of these things already. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to let those spin. I'll take this stuff out. Let's take all this out. By the way, I've got my honey bottles in there taking care of business. We'll just fill all of that stuff up in there. That could go in there. We've also got some more copper. So we're going to make some constantin. I think we're going to make like 8 or 10. Maybe maybe not that many. Maybe 6. Let's try to make 6 of these thermoelectric generators. So let's just take a look at them really quick. And I'm going to go off and start working on these bad boys. So a copper coil bo block. That's super easy. I'm not worried about that. We should make maybe 1. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We can do that. Because we also can make the press at some point. How is how is the press made? Let's see, before we even get there. I feel like I need to make at least one thermoelectric generator to run the press, though. Okay, let's go take a look here. Is this a considered a metal press? Okay. So it's a uh, piston. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Redstone engineering block is the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about. Redstone engineering block. How do we make those? Copper ingot. Some iron sheet metal. Okay, that's money. We can make that all day long. Okay, we're not worried about that. And then, what else do we need for this thing? Heavy, oh, a heavy engineering block. All right, let's take a look at the heavy engineering block. Is this going to be some crate? Oh, that used mechanical cra Oh, okay. These are a little on the pricey side. Steel plates to make those. How many do we get? We get four, though. Okay, I mean, I think that, ele oh, electrum ingot. Electrum grit is gold and silver. Yeah, I think that's all doable. Yeah, I think we could probably make that metal press. Let's let's go and have just like I know we're like eight minutes into this episode already. Uh, just been running around, jumping and showing you stuff. Let's do like a full blown immersive engineering like explosion around here. So I'm gonna build. Let's get pieces parts together, and we'll build a metal press, and that'll help us build some thermoelectrics. So we're going to build a thermo one thermoelectric first, and then I'll bring you back and we'll set that up. We'll do a metal press from there, then we'll build some more thermoelectrics. And then my goal in this episode was really to start getting stuff together to be able to make diesel. So we need a fermenter, and we need a, ref a squeezer. We also need, oh man, we need so much stuff. Let me get a thermoelectric pieces parted together. I'll bring you back on the other side of that, and we'll put one of those together. We'll set it up. It's going to be amazing. I also have to see how much uranium I have. Let's see. Let's go like this. How much do I have here? 37? All right, what's the story with uranium? Okay, crushing. Okay, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to crush that. So if we go like this, and then like this, we can make uranium blocks, and I'm pretty sure they're going to work like a dream for our stuff. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. At least that's my plan. We're going to start out with immersive engineering stuff for or, uh, these thermoelectrics. We're going to put that in there like so. Yeah, let this all grind up and take care of business. Let me do some stuff. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I've been putting together some of the components that we needed to be able to make uh, this our first thermoelectric generator. And... 
I made the engineer's workbench because in the past, I think maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's something to do with the pack, but like really weird things happen when we access the engineer's workbench. Like really weird. Like for example, like I'm missing stuff from my inventory. If I go over here, I have steel plates in my inventory like that, right? So if I come over here and I open up this, I have them, I guess I still have steel plates, but like I don't, I can't put them in there. Can I put like this up there? Like I thought I can make, I think they're, I think it's either, maybe it's disabled by the mod. That's possible, I guess, but it feels like something's broken there. So I'm not going to be using that. I guess we're not going to get the cheap resources. Unless there's some like crazy thing that I don't know why that's like that. But for instance, we need to make, uh, so we're going to make a thermoelectric generator. They're pretty simple, but I was hoping to get away with doing some other stuff there, like uh, saving some, uh, so for instance, for our press, we need a heavy engineering block like that. And we need some steel mechanical components. So I was hoping that we could use the engineering table across the way there to hook us up, but that doesn't look like that's a thing engineering table maybe it just doesn't work this way anymore and i just don't know but there's no recipes for it so i think maybe that it's not a thing in this mod pack and we've got to use like sort of the more expensive recipes so we wasted a little bit of materials making that but nothing too crazy we'll be all right okay so i'm going to start gathering the stuff together to make our first thermoelectric generator i did get a whole bunch of copper grit and nickel grit which we should be able to mix together like so and make a truckload do i want to make all of this one two three four yeah it's five yeah we're gonna make so, I, so maybe we can try to make 10 thermoelectric generators i have a ton of uranium which i'm pretty happy about so that yeah i think we'll be able to make a bunch so if we go over here now and put this in here in the old blast furnace, it should start cooking up. Okay, so that makes me happy. We just need to do a little bit more work. I gotta see if I have some more pieces, parts here. I'm really like frustrated a little bit that this thing doesn't work. <laughs> Man, this thing was money. I was banking on that to save me a ton of resources. Maybe you guys know why it doesn't work. I don't know, whatever. All right, I'm gonna keep gathering materials together. I'll bring you back on the other side and we'll see if we can't fire up our thermoelectric generator, our first one. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I think I have all the pieces parts. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of Constantin plates. There's five of those coming our way. Now we should be able to go and make this, our copper coil block. And then we just need a couple pieces of steel. And now we've got a thermoelectric generator. Super easy. No problem. I've got the rest of my Constantin cooking up in here. I guess it's done by now. We have enough to make nine more of those if we need. Uh, we might need some copper. But we're doing pretty good for ourselves. I've made, I took all my uranium and converted it into blocks. Also some blocks of iron just for storage purposes. So that's looking pretty good. So now I think we could go out here. Is it uh, daytime? Make sure. Yep. All right. So I think what we'll do is behind our building here, we're going to have like a field of these or a, an area. Those guys are still running around over there. I feel like I need to go take those dudes out. Can I like throw, <laughs> throw some snowballs out of this man? Let's fight, guy. All right. So if I go like here, let's get rid of those real quick. Okay. So we're going to put our generator down. We're going to have to pull power into this building somewhere. Let's just go ahead and start with our first one like that. Now, thermoelectric generators, if you don't know, they generate power based on temperature differences across this way. So, for example, if we put water here, right, and then we're going to need a little bit more water. I'm hoping that'll freeze. That's not under the edge, right? Yes. Yeah, oh, is it under the thing? Do we like, no, it should be okay. Hopefully it'll freeze there. If so, then it'll increase our power output. Let's grab that because we're high enough. So we've, we're gonna put we're gonna put water there and like there, okay? And then we come in with our block of uranium and put it here and here like that. And this thing should be producing power across. So if we put this guy here, we can see that it's immediately filled up. So we're generating power from this thermoelectric generator by using water and the difference in temperature between water and 
uranium. Yeah, it's like radioactive. And then we can kind of tile these, right? Like I can put another thermoelectric generator there, there, whatever, and we can get tons of power coming out, okay? So that's how we're gonna at least drive the power initially in our thing. I mean, once we get some diesel fuel going, we can switch to like a much stronger like diesel generator and then it is going to be on that is for sure and there's other things oh man i'm so excited <laughs> we're going to be having a big time with immersive engineering it might even take a couple episodes i hope you're ready i mean buckle up i think it's going to be amazing all right let's see what else we need now if we're going to make a press no uh let's look in here how about we look at actually our manual let's go here i'm going to make some more of those generators by the way so we want a metal press okay so we need one piston, two steel scaffolding, resident engineering block, we already talked about making heavy engineering block, and a conveyor belt. Now, the thing about a conveyor belt that makes me a little bit nervous is, oh, I need some of that. Okay, perfect. All right, let's take a look here. Conveyor belt from Immersive Engineering. So that gives us six. That's a little bit of brass and a little bit of that. Okay, I think over here, maybe, I've got a couple brass tickets. I do. Hello, can I go back in? All right, there we go. So we can make those first. Oh, we need a piece of redstone. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get that done. Okay, so there's a ton of those. All right, what else do we need to make our deal here? We need a uh, redstone engineering block. Okay, redstone. Oops. Redstone engineering block. We need one of those. So these are going to be some iron sheet metal, and we need some iron plates. Okay, so that should be pretty simple. Let's get one, two, three, four. Like so, bring these guys in here. Okay, there are those. And then these can be placed like that, and we'll make some iron sheet metal. And then we just need a piece of copper, which we have. Okay, let's make these. We get four of those from that recipe. That's a pretty good deal, that's for sure. All right, what's next? We need a piston. Let's make some steel scaffolding next. Steel scaffolding you should be able to make that pretty easy so that's that that's some of those okay so we need two pieces of steel like this to give us some of those we go I literally just forgot the recipe two seconds after I looked at it then we could go here like that and that'll give us six of those okay that's good and then the only other thing we need is a piston which we have that already we just need one two three Oh man, I'm out of, I don't even have enough cobblestone to make a piston. It's getting a little out of control, my cobblestone. You know how you normally in a mod pack, you have all the cobblestone you could ever use for the rest of your life? For some reason, in this pack, we're struggling all the time. Let's just go back here. We're probably going to end up knocking some of this out anyway, so we might as well just grab a piece like that. Maybe two pieces like that. I think we actually need, yeah, we do need that many. All right, then we'll be able to make our piston pretty simple. Any more redstone? Nope, let's grab another piece of redstone out of here, just one piece, and then we should be able to make a piston. Like that, bang, okay. So the only other thing that we need now to be able to finish this guy is the heavy engineering block. Okay, so the heavy engineering block is where a problem is going to come in. Not really a problem, we just need to be able to do a lot more. Okay, so a piece of Electrum we're going to have to make. So we need to get some... Okay, so let me make some Electrum. Let's do that first. Electrum, that's pretty simple. It's a, uh, a deal. Um, it's melting, no. Okay. You know the thing? Electrum grit. So gold and silver. Okay, I think we have both of those things. Any gold around here, or did I? Hopefully, we have some gold. There's some copper. There's that. There's glowstone dust. Gold. Hmm. Okay, so we may have to do something like this. Okay, and then silver. Cool. 
silver. Okay. Okay. Let me get some Electrum together, and then I'll bring you back on the other side, and then we'll put together all the pieces parts, and we get to use this cool thing again. It's going to be amazing. We'll get to use that bad boy. We'll fire that up. We'll make that work, and then we'll be able to put together this press. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I've got a couple things going on here. One is I made my uh, press molds uh, blueprint. We're going to put this in the sky and see what happens. Oh, hello. Okay. All right, does this work again? Yeah, okay. So I think what we want to do is we want to make the wire to so three steel plates and some engineer's wire cutters to make ourselves... The, oh, that's actually pretty cheap. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't make that real quick. I put an extra chest over here to hold goodies. One, two, three, and we have those. All right, let's make one of those. By the way, let me tell you something that happened. So earlier, this engineer's workbench was all messed up. Like, we didn't see any of this stuff. It was acting really weird. So what I had to do, and I just, I don't know, I... I I, I don't know how I figured this out. I just did it. So I started a single-player world and was like in creative mode or whatever just to see if the same thing was happening in a creative play or in a single player world and it wasn't so then i logged out and came back to the server with the intent to take a screenshot and then it was working fine on the server so i mean if that's happening to you i guess that's the fix but anyway let's go over here real quick and go like so uh these can all go in there yep they get pressed and then we should be able to go back over here and put this and this in there and make this guy. Okay? We'll use that here after a while. All right. And now this can be taken out and we'll put that one back in. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I have all the stuff that I need to be able to make this, whatever this thing is. I think I can take this one out. Yes. Okay. So this Electrum goes in the middle. We're making a heavy engineering block. So this goes in the middle. Let's take a look here at our recipe just so we know okay so that in the middle then we've got these guys that go one two three four then we've got these guys that go one two three four and then we've got bronze yes okay so one two three four of those so we've got bronze that goes one two three four okay all right so now we're going to shut this these wheels down we'll hit this they should all go together super fast and nice and give us some heavy engineering blocks. Four of them. I'm down with that. We could, that's a pretty good pretty good number for those materials. I mean, it might be a little bit expensive, but yeah, whatever. It's not too bad. All right, let's see. Now, let's get all of our other pieces parts. We've got all the other stuff that we've made. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. We're also going to need our engineering hammer. Uh, and what else we're going to need? Oh, and then some various... <laughs> various pieces parts I sort of want to have like a pad of let's see how we can make this happen how are we doing how are we doing cobblestone wise not not really that great <laughs> oh man we have to go hit the mines I think I keep crying about that non-stop let's go here though and we'll make a bunch of those okay and then I think we have a couple more maybe right See them right here? Okay. Let's uh, make sure it's... Let's sleep through the night real quick. Heavily fancy is our deal. Okay. And then we'll go out here. Let's go over to our new engineering shack that we've got. Okay. So let's go and put our... Let's put this... So we're going to run some machines across the back, back end of this. So we're going to like take out these blocks right here like so. Okay, and then I'm going to replace them with cobblestone slabs, and that's where this machine is actually going to set on, like that. Okay, um, and then nothing will spawn on it because it's going to be, I guess, a non-spawnable block. But let's take a look here. So how we build this thing, we can hit stop here, we can go like that. So this is scaffolding. Okay, I should, I've only built like a million of these. You would think that I would remember. We're going to put blocks like that, and then this one of these goes right in the middle. Okay, perfect. Then we need, I want them to go this way, okay, that way, all right, and then what's next? Okay, that's a piston facing down, okay, so now we'll put in, do we have like a temporary block we can use? Sure, all right, we'll take a piece of cobblestone and put it there. 
then this guy, can we jump up there? Yeah, okay. This guy goes there, like so, and then we take him out, and we'll put in our piston upside down. Boom, like so, right? And then we should be able to form him. Yep, by clicking on the piston, okay? So there we go. There is our metal press. We can immediately take this and go like so, all right? Perfect. So now we have a working metal press. Uh, it's not the uh, most butamusest but thing ever, but I think it's going to work for us. Uh, we can, we're going to rig up some inputs, I think, and maybe an output, and that's going to be awesome. I think we can just use a chest for the output and then like a hopper for the input. So we'll set that up so we can make what we need, but that we're not done because we 100% need to get... Can I bring it with me? No. Let's go get our... LV wire connector that goes on top of that thing actually I think I'm gonna have to make some new ones I, I have a feeling I need to make the rest of my I mean the whole reason by, for getting that press up and running though was to be able to spend or save a little bit of money on uh, wire right because we get double the wire output by using the press so I think what I want to do is I need to make some LV wire connectors maybe some wire some stuff like that I was thinking about making a capacitor as well I like these capacitors just for holding a little bit of charge I mean those are super easy what's the MV one Electrum okay, and then HV is a block of lead. I mean we should probably just go straight for the eight elv HV or the excuse me the high voltage capacitor and that'll probably be good enough Yeah, I mean we just need to get some lead which we have I mean we have all of these pieces parts I, mean, I think we have tons of lead already. Well, I don't really know but is this lead yeah, 21 pieces of lead. So we could crush that up. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to make an HV capacitor, and I think we'll do that. We'll get that connected into the wall. It's going to be amazing. Let me make a couple pieces parts, and I'll bring you back, and we'll see if we can't fire up this, uh, this press and press some stuff. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, let's see if we can't make one of these things right here. We have to make a block of redstone, and then we should be ready. So an HV capacitor that'll hold, I think it holds a million uh, engineering flux, or whatever the uh, immersive engineering redstone pieces parts are. All right, let's go around the back here, and then we'll need to do a little bit of work. But I'm just going to recess it in the wall. I think we're going to put it, I want to be kind of high. So maybe we'll put it like right here. We'll just stick this guy in there like so, okay? And then we need to do energy input there. And we're going to put ourselves, for now, we're going to upgrade these. We'll put a an LV connector up there. And then we should be able to run some wire from here to there, okay? Now this guy should be generating power. It is, okay. And we're going to add, oh, look, it did freeze. Yeah, that's awesome. Love that so much. We'll uh, expand that, and then we'll have more ice there. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. All right, now, let's go inside here. Do we have a couple, like, building blocks? Just something we could stand on, maybe? Okay, so this is going to be up here, for now at least, is going to be energy output, right? And we're going to put an LV wire connector on there, like so. All right, and then we have to find some way to get off the ground here a little bit so I didn't really think my my whole idea through very well <laughs> but we'll figure it out we'll be doing this a lot I guess all right let's stack up here a little bit and then we're gonna put this guy on top of there like so and we should very simply be able to run this to there and now this guy's getting power like a boss all right now let's get back down here let's grab that put that back Okay, all right, so everything should be going good now. Now, we just need to get a couple more pieces parts and we can get this thing operational. I was hoping to get uh, more stuff made today, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to. We're sort of running out of time a little bit uh, in this episode. We've been messing around, doing all kinds of cool stuff, making awesome contraptions and pieces parts and you name it. All right, so let's see, we want a hopper. Okay, let's see, how am I doing as far as uh, not great. <laughs> all right, I have a chest there. I can, oh, okay, 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 I have, all right, let's use that. I don't really like that, but eh, whatever. It's just going to be a little thing for us. And let's see, what else do I want? I want some copper wire. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay. 
also let me just remember remember myself of the thermoelectric recipe it's that okay yes yeah, so this is why we want to do that in the first place we need to make a ton of copper wire let's get some more maybe 16 okay we'll see how many that ends up making for us all right so we should now be able to go back inside our deal here and if we take our chest right we're going to put it right there right facing out just so like the conveyor belt could run into it and then we'll go over here and we're going to face this guy into there and we should now be able to put copper yep and hopefully how many we do 16 that thing's working like a dream it's super loud i love it <laughs> oh man it's amazing Plenty of power. How's this guy doing? Oh, yeah, we're gaining power there, too. That's good. So we should end up with 32 of those. Perfect. That's exactly how I wanted that to operate. Okay, cool. So now that we have these, we can make a whole bunch more wire coils, and then we can make some more thermoelectrics because we need eight. So how many more is this going to allow us to make um, this wire? All right, let's, let's see if we can craft some of these together, I guess. We'll just do it real quick. Okay, um, I need some sticks. Hmm. Okay, let's maybe put these back here. In there. Okay. Do I have any sticks in there? No. Put these back here and make some planks at least. There we go. We'll make a whole bunch of sticks like this and then we'll make some wire coils lv lv okay lv wire like these all right we should be able to make a whole ton of those right and then we just need a little bit of iron and we should be able to go put this in the middle and then these guys like so so we can make four of those. Okay, that means we're going to be able to make four more uh, thermoelectric generators. I'll do that in just a second, and then I'll bring you back. We'll take a look at this thing, and I think we're probably going to be done with this episode. Diving head first. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Into the crazy world of immersive engineering. Now that we've got this crazy uh, workbench uh, fixed and taken care of, I mean, we need to make some vacuum tubes. That's for sure. Green frame glass. Oh, we can use all kinds of any glass oh man we're gonna have some good stuff going on around here that is for sure i'll see you in just a second Alrighty, my friends we are back okay man the best thing about these thermoelectric generators is they're passive you don't have to do anything you don't have to feed them you don't have to give them power you said can sit here and let them do their deal but that being said i made four more so now we have five total i'm just going to connect these i made some lv wire relay so we're going to go from here to here and from here to there and from there to there as well. And then all the power from there is gonna run up through there and we can see we're raking it in now. Oh yeah, boy, we're in really good shape. So that gives us, I don't know exactly what the RF per tick is. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's like 40 or 50, something like that. I don't know if the engineering manual actually even tells us uh, what the RF per tick is. Power of the electric generators. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us, I guess. Yep, it doesn't say. But anyway, we're raking it in. And these fact that these are passive means they'll always be running. We could just kind of hang around here, and we'll have this HV capacitor. And then we'll have all this HV power that we can use for other stuff. Now, the ultimate goal is to get uh, power positive, because we're about to be pulling power out of there with fermenters and squeezers and stuff like that. But that's okay. We'll take care of that whenever we get to. Hopefully we can just add some more thermoelectric generators back there and be good to go. I think we're going to call our episode done, though. We have done good work today. That is for sure. And for certain, we have built ourselves, let's see, the engineer's workbench, which didn't work out all that great, but then got better <laughs> after we learned our little trick of logging into a single-player world and back to the server. So we did that. That's working like a dream. And then on top of that, we built ourselves a metal press, making all the pieces parts 
and we were able to use that metal press in conjunction with our high voltage capacitor and our thermoelectric generator all oh, bad and we got some easy mode production of wire which is what we're going to need next time we're going to come back we're going to make a fermenter we're going to make a squeezer we're going to make some cloches we're going to start making diesel fuel um no so squeezer what is it squeezer uh i can't remember i can't remember what the things are let's see fermenter squeezer and then a refinery so we got to get all those making and then we can make ourselves some diesel fuel and then things are going to get awesome around here so until then please remember to be cool don't be a fool and from my brass let's play series where man we're diving deep into immersive engineering i guess we'll see you next time bye everybody